It's come about because the president visited Hyderabad Almaty in 2008, December. He said, Hyderabad, I like what I see. Please open a school in the new capital, Astana. And this school is in partnership with Hyderabad back in England. So there are now three Hyderabads in the world, one near London, one in Almaty, and now one in Astana. I think you only have to look around you to see how many fantastic resources we have in the school and all of it's here for the children's use and I think they're going to get a really brilliant time here. see everything musical in the school, whether it's in lesson time or as extra activities. Um, as I said, all children from year one to six have music lessons and we also do some smaller music lessons for the reception and pre-prep classes, the younger children. Also, there are extracurricular activities for music that I organise, including a school orchestra for people to play instruments together and a school choir. The children can choose to take extra instrumental lessons in, in school time and after school. We're very proud with our facilities. We've got swimming pool, proper swimming pool, 25 meters, with starting blocks and baby swimming pool. So. We have all facilities to train our kids and hopefully we're going to have some very good swimmers here. Um, we've got sports hall as well where we're going to play basketball, tennis, um, hockey, uni hawk, bench ball and so on. Then we've got four outdoor tennis courts with hard surface. Um, and small AstroTurf where we can play Unihawk and football.
Well, it's been an ambition of mine for a great many years to live abroad and to gain the benefits of an international education for my children and the experience for myself. But specifically Kazakhstan, because I think this country has an enormous role to play in the future globally with the enormous resources that the, the country has to offer the world, I think it will become increasingly important geopolitically around the world. Therefore, I wanted to be a part of that development and see the country emerge into the quite important nation I believe it will become. Um, it's a challenge here because we have children from a wide range of backgrounds. There are children who um, live here in Kazakhstan and other children from around the world. So our first problem is to communicate clearly in language which the children can understand. So we prioritize English because this is an English school, but um, we have to be very careful about the words we choose otherwise the children won't understand. But we found that they learn very quickly and it's amazing to see the progress that the children have made even in a very few weeks.